Hey guys, it's me, and this is video number two in my series of the Beauty Control um, Spring Color Collection of lipsticks. Um, there are going to be five videos. This is just number two. And the lipstick that I featured in this video is the color Stiletto, and it is a nice um, cherry kind of red color. Um, really pretty color. I obviously have it on. Um, so today's look is... Today's look is a little bit vintage inspired, I would say. Um, it's kind of a nude eye like the first video. However, it's got the dramatic wing liner, um, which I think looks so good with a nice classic red lip. Um, we've gone really light on the cheeks as well, just a little bit of kind of a contour, a little bit of a cheek color, but nothing major because since we have such a bold statement on the eyes and the lips. Um, so if you would like to know how I did this look, please keep watching and keep coming back for some more of these videos. There will be three others. Um, that I will try to have up as soon as possible. Um, and again, like I said in my last video, these looks are really interchangeable where like you can do maybe this eye look with one of the other lipstick colors. Um, so don't feel limited to just this. You know what I mean? You can kind of interchange the looks and the um, lipstick colors. And uh, yeah, so I guess uh, keep watching. So today we're going to start it with a face primer and you're just going to want to put that all over. I like to concentrate it in the areas where it's needed the most, like um, where there's large pores um, or fine lines. Um, but use any primer that you like. Um, and then we're going to go in with foundation and I'm just applying this with a foundation brush from Sigma. And um, I'm just applying that all over my face. I'm using, I believe I just used my MAC um, Studio Fix in this video. And you're just going to want to blend that all over your face, back to the ears, down onto the jawline, um, and um, up on the forehead into the hairline. And then we're going to go in with our concealer and just lighten up that under eye area. And also apply concealer anywhere else where you may have a blemish or a little bit of redness that your foundation didn't cover. Um, and I'm just applying this with my finger. I find that the easiest way, but you do it however you see fit. Um, and then I like to set all of that with a powder. Next we are going to groom our brows and I'm just kind of brushing through them to get out any excess, um, any powder or anything that would have got in them. And then I'm going in with my Beauty Control Brow Perfecting Pencil in Brunette and I'm just kind of filling in my brows um, wherever they're a little bit, the hairs are a little bit sparse. You're going to do the same thing on the other eye and then I'm going in with some bronzer and um, kind of an angled um, kind of a blush brush I guess you would say but it just has a little angle to it and I'm using my beauty control bronzer for this and I'm just contouring my cheeks a little bit we don't need a huge contour just kind of to get a little bit of shadow in there and I'm also going to go up around my forehead and kind of my temples then I'm going in with a beauty control blush in tawny um, and I cut out the scene of me actually putting that on my cheeks so next we're gonna go in and prime our eyelids I love using a primer before my eyeshadows just to keep my eyeshadows um, from creasing. So then you're going to go in and apply a light shade of eyeshadow all over your eyelid. It can have a slight shimmer to it, totally up to you, but just something that's going to be at least a shade lighter than your skin. And then in the crease, I'm just taking a matte shadow that is, it's probably I would say one to two shades darker than my skin, just to give yourself a little bit of dimension, a little bit of contour, um, and just to, to give yourself um, a little bit of a smokier effect in the uh, the crease area and just blend that right in you don't want to see any start or stop lines you want it to look seamless so then I'm just taking an angled brush and I'm just applying a little bit of that same shade that we used in our crease just underneath the eye just to tie the whole thing together and I'm just using that um, a smaller angled brush and I'm just kind of uh, blending that and smoking it out a little bit and then I'm taking just some everyday scotch tape and I'm putting a little piece kind of on the outer corner of my eye just so I can get a nice crisp 
wing because that's what I want to do. Um, we're going to go in with a little bit of shadow and then some liner. But if you really want a nice crisp line, I would suggest applying a little bit of tape. Um, and once you've you've done this, and like you know, a lot of times you're not going to need the tape. You're going to be able to go in, you know, with just a brush and um, liner or what have you. Um, and then I'm just taking a, sh a shade um, a little bit darker than the one I used before, and I'm just going into the crease. And as you can see, I'm just blending, um, but we'll get a nice sharp line because of that tape. And then I'm going in with my liquid liner from Beauty Control. And I'm just tracing along the edge of that tape so that we have that nice crisp winged line. And then I just take it onto my eyelid. And I am really horrible at explaining how I do this. So I'm just going to shut my mouth and let you guys kind of watch and see what I do. But I basically just make little um, smaller lines and then kind of hook them together I guess if that makes any sense at all um, but I'll just let you watch this part Now you can extend this wing as far as you want. I want it quite dramatic. You definitely do not have to go as um, dramatic as I'm going. You can also make the line as thick or as thin as you want. See, here, right here, I'm done and I've taken the tape off. Um, but the liner is up to you how thick uh, you really want to go with it. And next I'm just using a Beauty Control Lip Pencil and uh, I'm just outlining my lips and I'm also filling them in and that just helps your color last a bit longer. Um, if you just fill in your lips with the uh, liner as well. Now I'm taking the lipstick stiletto um, Which is the lipstick obviously I'm featuring in this video and it is from the new beauty control spring color collection And it is a beautiful red shade. So if you want bold lips This is a great color for that and the lipsticks are really hydrating too So you're, they're not going to feel really dry on your on your lips and it is lash time So I put some big huge lashes on and then our look is basically finished So that was the look, really quick, really easy. Um, definitely try it at home. This would be great um, if you have an event you're going to. Um, it would look really kind of classic and timeless and polished. And um, yeah, once again, thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe. Uh, feel free to comment down below. And uh, thank you so much. Bye-bye.